background. And Tamara, welcome to Pittsburgh. Thank Your you first for time. Me. Yes, it's beautiful great to have city. You here. Well, you have such a fascinating background. First of all, tell us about your what you what you create. Well, actually, when I was sick, I used art as a vehicle to help me through the troubles I was having. Mm -hmm. uh, it soothed my mind and sort of, um, you know, released some of the stress I was going through. And so I, you know, thought that art was something I would do on the side, but it became something very important mm -hmm. to uh, my healing process. Uh, I started creating a new body of work in 2007, and that is the work that you see now. And that body of work actually is um, a voice for people who are uh, less privileged. I try uh -huh. to heighten these people as best as I can through the paintings I create. Well, they look like royalty, the exactly. way you created them. Exactly. Tell me what kind of media you use. I use acrylic and mixed media. Um, I use fabrics, gold leaf, mm -hmm. feathers. Uh, all types of things to create the works. And the faces, are these people you know? or Many of them are people I know. I actually am a photographer, so I find my people and, uh, and create the paintings. Basically. And it really has a Madonna kind of feel with the halo over them. Right, it's right. In that particular, it's, it's, it's all about heightening individuals and making them feel beautiful, celebrating their inherent so beauty. It's wonderful to have you and in Pittsburgh. What's it like to be at an exhibit tonight where you get to meet people and see them interact with your work? Actually, it's, uh, it's fascinating and wonderful and quite inspiring. I am excited about it, so I'm excited to be here. Well, we're yeah. thrilled to have you here, Tamara. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Stop by to see more of Tamara's art during tonight. Hi, everyone. I want to say thank you for coming and thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. This is my first time in Pittsburgh, and it's very cold. I appreciate being here. Okay, so um, I think I just want to talk a little bit about myself and my work. Um, and then if you have any uh, further questions, uh, please feel I am a self-taught artist. Um, obviously, I've, I've had mentors and people over the years who've helped me to develop my artistic style. But uh, I am self-taught. I did not study uh, formally uh, in the arts in any university. Uh, as far as my style is, is concerned, where I grew up in Jamaica, uh, I, grew, I was born in Kingston, which is the, you know, the major city, but I grew up in Manchester. We climbed trees and picked fruit, and we lived off the land. My grandmother was very uh, passionate about God, and she was a giver and a lover of people. And for me, growing up like that, I saw beauty in a different way. I saw value in people's lives in a way that uh, money can't buy. And so I it, inherently I felt connected to people who were maybe not rich, but were really beautiful on the inside, had, you know, had uh, you know, wonderful personalities and so forth. And so when I started painting, I kind of wanted to paint, pay homage to those people because I felt like somehow in life, you're overlooked if you are not well. So my work became uh, sort of a lifetime dedication to heightening people who were uh, possibly overlooked. And that's what my work essentially is about. Can you explain how the fabric came into play? I used to look at your work and I used to see a lot of birds. And all of a sudden I started noticing the fabric. What is that just mean? The fabric has been in there since the birds. This has always been there. It's just hard to tell online when you look at it because it looks uh, like nothing to be seen. But I, I started with the fabric because I like the idea of um, quilting. I was really fascinated with the history of quilting, especially in African American communities. And I thought, you know, wow, you know, maybe I can um, use that. But then it turned into me wanting to, because my focus was to heighten these people, put them in, in um, very sort of royal clothing things that you would not normally see them wearing. And I think that's a way that we judge people based on how they dress and how they look. So I thought this would allow people to actually see the image more when they're, you know, in this beautiful fabric. Every time you take one step, something pulls you back. But you get back up each time you fall. Eh. Wicked people and bad minds lurking in the dark. But I have no fear, I walk with Jah. Hey, turn the world on, and turn the music on, just light up another one. Relax and just close your eyes. Oh, natural, mystic is in the air. 
Stress is what 